Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another GA Canine Training video. Today we're featuring uh, handler David Paulus and Canine Gretel working on an urban trail in a shopping center. Now, this is really a great track. Um, in preparation for this, we're starting the dog, or we think we're starting the dog, in a great foundation of soft surface where we're going to hold the odor really well, do a little island hopping before we start getting into major contamination and traffic. Now what's really interesting about this is how Gretel takes this beginning location, and it's not what some of us actually expected. As you're watching her work, pay Maybe. attention to the behavior on the soft surface and see if this is consistent with perhaps what we've seen we'll before in, in a an uh, soft right surface environment. Bat. It's not. It's different. You can see maybe she's right. getting some odor, but in this certain ways it's almost like it doesn't the exist. And the crazy thing is, as we go along off the island and between the islands, it actually looks like she has scent better on the hard surface than she does the soft surface. You can see her getting patches of odor right here. I call this spot odor, or in other words, odor that's blown and dropped in a certain place. It's not necessarily the track, it's pieces of odor. You're going to see a lot more of this as she goes along. All through these islands, the exact same behavior occurs. Why is that? Pay close attention. The big difference between her is when she's in odor and she, yeah, and if she's in distraction, that tail goes down. Many people might think that uh, Gretel is actually getting distracted here off on animal odor or something, but she is a very, very precise dog and, and taking her time on what odor that she has. This is blown odor that's off the island in different places. Now, look at that wagging tail. That's our step-off point. That's where our trailer left the island and went on to the, the hard surface. And look at that scent work right there. Very, very careful, a little bit on the depression. She makes her way to the next island. Now, she comes off the island and off to the side, even though the person didn't walk there. Again, because this island is not holding odor the way one might expect it to. So what's really the problem here? Why, why is Gretel having so much difficulty in what should be a very, very easy condition? Well, it's quite simple. All of these, uh, all this cover that has been placed on the island for the vegetation is relatively new. These are uh, kind of like a redwood bark or chip uh, and they've all been artificially colored with a chemical to make them look this way. I think they also have a natural inhibitor towards either pests or weeds. And when it's fresh like this, all of these things have a significant odor. And with this significant odor, we have a coverage, almost a masking effect of our human track. Now look at Gretel working the soft surface. Big change. It's much easier. She's moving much faster because we've lost all that contamination that was on top of the track. One of the things we have to consider whenever we're working a dog is oftentimes the conditions that we have in front of us are not what we think they are. Ultimately speaking, scent may or may not be in a certain place. It may or may not be covered up. Just because we think we have something doesn't necessarily mean that the dog's going to be able to work it. Not only does this apply to certain conditions and environments, but it also, and more importantly, applies to age. Now, I don't know if you noticed it, but her head just popped up. She just did a little meerkat maneuver, popped up. She's excited. She's moving faster. Well, that's as a proximity alert to source. And source is at the end of this parking lot at the structure right in front of us inside those doors. She got a good fresh air scent of our subject. Now, the interesting thing is this is the entrance to a Walmart. So we've got tons of people going in and out. We have actually quite a few people that are inside there, but she's differentiating one odor amongst many on air scent. And from a distance, this first distance of probably close to 100 meters. Now, as we get closer, her agitation and her interest gets higher and higher and higher. Notice she pays no attention to this person she just passed, but she's getting excited. She's wagging her tail, and we're about to get some really good proximity alerts. Now, what's beautiful about this is absolutely no hesitation going into the doors and absolutely no hesitation with our ID of the person inside. Now, this, this right here is what I want out of an urban dog in an urban environment with multiple people. Not screwing around with a bunch of different folks, looking at them, wagging tails, jumping up on them. This is what I want to see right here.
Concentration and focus like this is absolutely not easy. It takes a lot of training and a lot of time, and it has to be training in the right way. If you like what we do, if you want more of it, check out my book. It's called The Tao of Trailing, and it's available at www.gacanine.com.